Hello, my name is Justin Sanders and I'm here to lead you through this module covering the fixed income products and markets. In this first module, we will be talking about the key features of a fixed income security or bond, who issues bonds in the market and why, and the yield curve and what it represents. Here we have a yield curve for the US Treasury bonds as at March 2013. This yield curve is determined by the current market price of US Treasuries. For example, 10-year Treasuries are yielding 1.9%. In other words, investors lending money to the US government for 10 years require a return of 1.9%. We can see that the yield curve is upward sloping, reflecting that it is riskier to lend money to the US government for 30 years rather than 10 years. Yield curves are normally upward sloping, so we refer to this shaped yield curve as the normal yield curve. Now we can use the process of discounted cash flow, also known as DCF, to price a bond. This bond pays a coupon of 10 per year and has a nominal value of 100, which is paid at maturity in year 3. In this example, the market requires a return of 9% per year. Therefore, we will use 9% for I in our discounting formula. For example, 0 0.917 is 1 over 1.09. Multiplying the future cash flow of 10 in year 1 by the discount factor of 0 0.917 gives the present value of 9.17. By discounting each of the cash flows, in turn, we can calculate their present values. The total of the present values is 102.53. This is the price that investors will pay to earn a return or yield of 9% per year. When a bond's price is more than 100, we say that it is trading at a premium. The bond will always trade at a premium when the yield is lower than the coupon rate. 